it was awesome. It was awesome. It was much needed. Um, at, after losing so many games as we have, is it was it helped our confidence a lot. What about you personally? Have you even in high school have you had a, a game like that? No, that was I don't think so. That was uh, that was a career day for me. Um, it was uh, it was a super exciting day, um, and uh, it, it was it was memorable for sure. I mean, guys started out really well. I mean, for the fake handoff, and you went around with the left side, you were gone. Yeah. Did it, I mean, did you kind of build from that? Yeah, I did. Um, that was the, the first drive, having that 55, whatever it was, uh, yard touchdown. That was cool. Um, kind of helped our confidence and, and my confidence personally. And uh, just kind of rolled from there. Um, I, I felt like we were just playing real smooth that uh, Saturday. Where's the confidence now? I mean, obviously, two games left. Um, could be the last two games. Yeah, um, confidence is really, really high. Um, we realize that um, we, you know, we might only have two left, and uh, these these next games are, are memorable, memorable for us seniors, just because it's the last ones. But it's it, it should mean a lot to the other guys too to to play for us and and uh, you know kind of send us out the right way. Um, yeah, I mean we're, we're excited to play them though. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, Demone had a great day. Uh, Jer I think I threw Jeremiah and Sam their first touchdown, so that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of a lot of guys touched the ball, and uh, it just seemed like we were having so much so much success. Uh, when we went into halftime, there wasn't a lot we needed to change. It was just keep doing what we're doing is what the coaches were stressing. So. Um, yeah, it was really cool. I, I love the way we uh, kind of banded together and played as a team. It's been a while. What about uh, Southern Illinois? Last time you guys were there, obviously, difficult loss two years ago. What can you just tell me about them defensively? Uh, defensively, um, I'm going to watch more games today. I, um, they, what I've seen on film is they're really, uh, really tough. Um, they, they, they had a heartbreaker this last week, but. They're really tough, and uh, they're going to give us everything they got. Um, I, I wish I could tell you a little bit more. I need to watch more games today, though. Seems like they're a team that's always, regardless of their record or where they're at in the standings, they're always a tough out. Even last year here, it was a tough yeah. game, an overtime game two years ago. Is that sort of what you expect? Is always a tough game with them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're always, they always play tough, and they play hard. And uh, I actually. Going to their going to their stadium is actually one of my favorite places to play too. So that, that's going to be exciting. They got a good fan base and uh, the tailgaters and all that, and, and a great venue. So that's going to be exciting. It's going to be a good time. How important, Ricky, you have to put the cart before the horse is, is to win these last two, and then kind of see what happens. I mean, obviously, if you look at the standings today; it doesn't look good. Yeah, it doesn't look good, and. Uh, yeah, we realize that it doesn't look good, but it's. I mean, at the same time, we just control what we can control. You know, we we wish that we could go back, but we can't, and uh, so we just got to look forward and 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 play week to week now. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much we can do but look forward. How do you feel? I know you've been in the quarterback position for a couple mm -hmm. weeks now, probably about maybe, maybe a month. Yeah. Um, Yeah. As far as timing goes and understanding what you're seeing, you know, do you feel like you've you know, completely settled in and you're back to where you would, would like to be for the most part? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think so. Um, being the starter um, actually helped too because going in as a backup is kind of more difficult because I don't get all the reps like I would, like the starter would. So preparing last week as the starter, I got all the reps and I had um, it was all focused on me. At like the coaches and, and teaching me different stuff and all that stuff, and that kind of helped with the preparation too. So, um, I liked I liked that, and you know I think it'll be again like that again this week if if those guys aren't healthy or whatever. Um, but yeah, I do. I think I've settled back into it. Are there some changes to the offense and tweaks that kind of fit what you do? You know. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Um, Ricky special or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, it's it's just. It's like um, like Hunter is just extremely good at reading defenses and, and throwing the ball, and then I'm good at at running and um, kind of like quick game stuff. 
so we're, we're polar opposites, but Coach Montgomery has done an excellent job of, you know, getting our offense, um, ma making our offense successful either way, whichever quarterback's in there. Um, and then Nathan Mays is kind of a mixture of the two. So. <laughs> you and Dirk have kind of gone a similar, similar avenue this year. I mean, yeah. He started as a receiver or whatever. Now. Mm -hmm. Are you talking to him all about this? Or he, he was a quarterback in high school like you were and that sort of thing. Uh, I haven't talked much about it with him, but he's like um, – I know he played quarterback in high school. He had a lot of success, and um, I'm sure he was excited to get back in there too. He he played really well Saturday. So, But, yeah, we've been on the same – we're on the same path. Outside of your play, what do you think this team did well uh, and maybe different than they have in previous games? Um, mostly just did their job. Um I, I thought the offensive line responded so well. Um, Coach Priscilla had those guys prepared. Like I was, it was just it was exciting to see. Each one of those guys did their job. The receivers did their job. Defense, you know, it was just doing your job. And that's I think that's why we had so much success is because we didn't have a lot of mental errors. We didn't have a lot of physical errors. It was just guys doing their job.